Hi, I'm Sebastian from Skycomp Solutions, and today we're gonna to show you how to create an internal website for your team with SharePoint. Lots of people don't know this, but SharePoint actually comes with your Office 365 subscription. It connects you with your OneDrive and it puts files from your organization into one place. On top of all these great features, you can create a website with, you can do custom HTML, you can add photos, add links to Microsoft Stream, to YouTube. This creates a real one-stop shop for your company to stay connected, share content, comment on things, and be a team again after being apart, working from home for so many months. So let's hop right into SharePoint and get this tutorial started. So in front of me here, I have a laptop that I have set up on the Skycomp uh, SharePoint network with Office 365. So the first thing you wanna do when creating your own custom SharePoint site um, is you're in Office, uh, the Microsoft Office homepage. Um, you can access this via a browser. So right now I have our Office 365 homepage open, but if you don't know how to get to that, I will show you in just a moment you will probably get a link from your IT admin that will get you directly to your private SharePoint site. But if you don't get that link and you have OneDrive set up, you can easily go to your taskbar here, hit the drop down arrow, right click the, uh, the OneDrive cloud icon, and then there's an option to view online. And that'll jump you over to your OneDrive files online and your uh, SharePoint.com site and you can see everything. You can also go to the kind of menu dots in the far left corner and just hit the Office 365 option and it'll take you there. So now that we're in our menu, we figured out how to get there. Um, you have all the different applications down the side and one of them is going to be SharePoint. So you can select that. And then you'll see you have the option to create a site, create a news post. You can see the frequent sites that you have visited and you can also see some feature links and some recent sites that you've been to. Um, we're for this tutorial going to show you an example of what Skycomp is doing for our site. And we're also going to show you how to create a more creative uh, looking site, one that's more visual and less about storing files. So, I'll preface this with when you create a SharePoint site here, you have two options and you're gonna to have to talk with your team about what kind of site makes sense for the different applications you wanna use it for or whatever your organization is doing. You really wanna make sure to choose the correct option. So they have a team site here um, and that's really not meant to be super visual. It's meant to share files and be productive in that way. It's not really meant to look good or you can add commenting videos, you can add all those things. I'll show you that, how that looks in a few minutes. But creating this site is really just for sharing files, keeping things organized, creating a whole bunch of different folders, sharing links, and it makes everyone able to access that. And you can choose within your site settings who you want to be able to access the specific site. On the other hand, the communication site, that is a more dynamic, beautiful, whatever you want to call it, um, more branded site. Um, so this can be used still internally um, and you can easily link uh, to videos and folders and everything that you can do in the team site. The only difference is you have a lot more control about the look and feel and the theme and adding logos in. So you can really personalize it to make it your own, your organization's kind of internal site. Um, so it's a really good option if you're looking to, to do that. I'll show you now what Skycomp's kind of team site looks like. And this was one that I was playing around with. So there's some fonts that have to be updated, some logos that have to be changed. But this is just for tutorial purposes. This isn't, this isn't not actually our internal site. Um, so you can see that I added a picture. I added some text beside the picture. So you, this is a team site. Again, this is the one that's not supposed to look pretty, but you can still do these things. 
You can link to uh, stream videos. This is our actual YouTube channel. Um, go subscribe if you haven't already. Um, had to just drop that shameless advertising in there. You can also add a calendar. I have some photos added in that scroll. Well, maybe we'll see one scroll. No, we just opened the photo of uh, Jamie's dog there. Mm, it's not gonna scroll for us, but that's okay. Um, then you have an announcements panel where people can comment and add new announcements. Anyone in the organization can do this and you can set it so only certain people can make announcements. Lots of, of customization options there. Um, and you'll see along the side here, you have kind of a regular website menu. This is great um, for adding your documents, keeping things organized and sharing things with your team. We have a whole bunch of different categories for different things that we are able to sort easily and everyone in the administration can access these if needed and we can share them easily internally with Outlook. So that's kind of what our uh, team site looks like. Now you're here because you want to be a little bit more creative. You don't want just a boring old team site. You can share files. You've done that before. You want to create, oh, let's go back to SharePoint here. You want to be able to create a website for internal use that's a little bit more nice to look at and doesn't feel like a SharePoint site. It feels like your company put some money and designed a website and it looks good. So having some skills in HTML and CSS will help you in this um, endeavor, but if you don't have that, it's just as easy and you can make things look just as good. So we'll go to create site. We won't create a team site because I showed you what that looks like. You can do almost the same things. Again, it's not supposed to look pretty. We want to make a communication site and we're just going to call this uh, tutorial site. Um, so now this is another thing that the communication site allows you to choose from. They've kind of created some templates automatically for you. Um, you can start blank. You can start fresh with nothing to go on. You can choose a showcase and you can choose a topic. So a topic site is more about more about details about a specific topic. As funny as that definition sounds, it's just about one specific thing and you can add some photos, you can make things your own still. It's still very customizable, but it's about a specific topic. Um, a showcase site has more photos so there's tons of different app places to pop photos in and there's text descriptors in between that. It's good to go in, open it up yourself, see what it looks like. For today's tutorial, we're gonna use a showcase site because I like photos and visuals and we'll show you how to add those in. We can finish, it's gonna create the site for us. So there you have it. It's got a lot of different images in there. Like I said before, and it has an image gallery right at the bottom, which is nice. I know for Skycomp, for our site, we definitely want to include, we do a lot of virtual events now that the pandemic's happening, but we've also done a lot of in-person events in the past. So we want to show off those photos to our team. We want to make our site really personal and really fun. Uh, so that's an option for you if you'd like. So now that we've opened up a communication site, we can really see what's going on with inside of it. And, um, what I'll show you how to do in this tutorial is just how to quickly edit things and make them your own from this template. You can go much deeper than what I'm going to show you today. The first step of editing your site is to go to the editing mode over here. So all you have to do is hit the little icon with the pencil beside it. You'll notice a republish button pops up in, its, in the place of the edit button. There is when you're done your work, you really want to hit the, re, the republish so that it goes out to your team. If you're still working on things, you can go over here to save it as a draft. If you save it as a draft, it won't go live. The company will only see what changes happen before you hit republish. So let's get into it. Let's change a couple of photos here. So all you have to do is select this box here. You can see I can drag it around. Go to the little pencil here at the bottom kind of right hand side. All you have to do is go to the background image. That's what this is technically. Um, and you can make it auto select an image or you can make a custom image. So we can change this to a stock image because 
we are a company that likes to get together and have fun. So we're gonna choose this. That looks like a crew of Skycom people. Having a good time in the office. Sure, that works. You can add alt text. Um, you can choose um, your options to show your topic heading. Um, you can add links there to call to action. So you, and you can make, you can edit all these links yourself. So if we wanted this to go to skycomp.ca slash learn, we could do that. And now this link here at the bottom is going to go to, go to skycomp.ca slash learn for more info. And it links us there, great. We can even, we can test that link, that works. And then once you're done changing all these settings, all you have to do is hit save as draft. And then if you want it to go live to your team, you can hit republish. Now you're probably wondering, Sebastian, these green colors, this green is not my brand. We're Skycom Blue. What are you doing? So there's an easy way to make those changes. All you have to do is go into your settings go into change the look and then you have a bunch of options to change your theme there's a lovely skycom blue option here but we're going to go dark blue that looks good let's use that we're going to save that theme we're going to go back into change the look we're going to get a header you can choose what kind of header you'd like compact you can see the different sizes of headers that looks like a website to me we want the header to be our Skycom blue. Or maybe, yeah, we want that, that works. Now you can choose an image. And in the article at skycomp.ca slash learn, we have more info about the exact sizes for the logos that you're going to need to upload. So you can go right now over to skycomp.ca slash learn to find the logos that you, the logo sizes that you're gonna need to upload here. You can also go um, and find those in Microsoft forums, but I did the work for you. So you can go over to the article and read about that. Same goes for your site logo thumbnail and your site logo. You can find both those details in the article at skycom.ca slash learn. You can also choose where your logo is on your site. You can choose the alignment. I like it to the, to the left, that works for me. We can hit save. And we can go again to change the look and we can go to footer and you can see at the bottom of your page how big your footer can be. You can add a logo at the footer. Again, we have that information at skycom.ca slash learn. You can go and find that those sizes and scales and we can choose the display name. We want skycomp to be this. Oh, we're going to go skycomp.ca slash learn because we can because I've said it like seven times. You can choose what that looks like it auto chooses what the color of the font will be. So it's not going to be blue on blue or something random for you. And so we can save that. And if you're not having a good time with setting this up and you're really struggling with using these different elements and you're not getting the publishing quite, quite right, you're making mistakes, no worries. You can always go to site designs. And you can go to learn more about site designs. Now there's one more thing that I want to show you about um, your SharePoint site that would really help you. Um, so you have your menu here at the top and it goes to different pages. So your documents, your pages, your site contents, and your editing menu here. So only the owner of the site is going to be able to see this edit button here. But what this is doing for you is it So what this is doing for you is it's allowing you to edit which pages are seen here and what what you want your menu to look and feel like so you can uh, in here 
So you can, oh, I'm gonna hit this button again. So you can create whatever pages you want. You can remove pages if you don't want them there. You can edit what already is there. You can see where it links to. So this obviously goes to our home page, so we don't want to mess with that. But we're going to create a new page. Um, we're going to call this. What's going on here? Not now. I don't need a tutorial. I'm doing one. OK. So you can add a name for this page, you just testing page. You can remove the name or email address at the top. We can say this is a draft. And we'll go back to editing here. And you're going to have to make sure to hit publish. And then it's going to ask you if you want to add the page to navigation or post on news to the site or email this out to someone or just say this page is a template and we're going to add it to the navigation. You can do all these things at once, but we're going to get rid of that. And you can see your testing page pops up on your top menu there. So you can create any kind of page that you'd like. Now within this page, you see that there's got a comment section here, but there's more to this you can you can do there's more customization even further so you can go to edit again now we're just editing the testing page we're not editing the home page Sim, very similar to uh, creating a regular uh, web page so now we can hit this plus button that's in the center of our screen here we can add an image we can add text we can add a file viewer you can scroll and you can just see that there are so many different things that you can add uh, to your sites here. And just to show you um, one as an example, we're going we're gonna to add um, a photo here. We're going to choose stock images. We're going to choose computers. And what's, what's sky copy here? That's super cool. We're going to insert that photo there. You can add a caption for the photo. You can resize the photo within this, uh, this box just by grabbing the corners of it. And then by selecting here, oh, where is it? What is it saying here? Probably all text. So you can hit the editing mode here on this photo. Now, SharePoint is very good at making the controls very, very straightforward and easy. If you've used a web design platform like Wix or Weebly, and sometimes even WordPress, um, you can see that all these icons are kind of similar to all those things. So if you want to align your image, you can change that. If you want to change the aspect ratio of things, you can do that. Um, if you want to crop it, you can do that as well. Um, so there's a ton of options with images and adding images. And then at the bottom, when, once you're done all the editing and the stuff you want to do, you can add another element. So we can add some text here. We can just say tutorial video Skycom. And you can add whatever text you want there. And you can also drag this around. If you add more elements, you would be able to reorder this very easily. I'll just add another element just to show you what that's like. You can add embed codes. So we can go to YouTube. Go to skycomp.ca. Oh, oh, well, found us. Hey, there's me. Um, let's choose this. 
Let's go to share. We're gonna go to copy the embed code. We can copy that, control C. And control V. And you can see that that video takes its place on our screen here. So let's say we wanted this the video to actually be on the top. So all you have to do is drag it up top. It's easy as that. So you can really quickly actually design um, your own website um, and your own pages to really customize things for your company. If you have more questions about SharePoint, you can leave comments below and we'll answer them as best we can. And if you'd like to see other videos about SharePoint, you can click over here. If you'd like to watch other videos about Microsoft Teams and other Office 365 programs, you can click over here. And if you like what we're doing at SkyComp, you can click up here. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.